Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. This is Minister Paul, a watchman on the wall for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It's 7.30 a.m. and that specific standard time on April 5th, 2016, and I'm in Northern California. Yesterday, on April 4th, 4-4-16, something very strange and abnormal occurred with my Samsung 6 uh, Galaxy, it's Samsung Galaxy S6 cell phone. And you're looking at it right here. I, I took a screenshot of what it is. Under the gallery section of my camera, some ev there was five events that were created. Not by me. Not on my wife's phone or anybody else's phone that I know of. I didn't download any app. I didn't authorize anybody to create these events, but there's five of them. They're given dates and titles and labeled events in my camera phone. I kid you not. And so what they did was, and I don't know who they did. I, I, let me tell you, the very first thought I had when I saw this and was really alarmed that someone had hacked my phone and there was something nefarious. And I was sharing it on Facebook, but last night before I went to bed, I was like, after seeing some of the things that are in these little mini videos, I was thinking, what if, what if it wasn't nefarious? What if somehow, in some imaginable way that only, our, you know, only God would know how to do, He put these events in my phone as a warning? Uh, so I honestly don't know how these events got there, other than I didn't do it or allow anybody to do it. So what it what it is is they take in in May of 2015 I began to travel using the hashtag Jesus Matters that you'll see on my shirt here to different states to share the gospel to baptize people to pray with people that I've met you know through YouTube uh, to go to their church to visit capitals. Of states and look at the and take photos of the Illuminati symbolism on these capitals and warn people of this these Mason symbols and um, and also to warn of the destruction that is uh, declared in the Holy Bible you with me and so somehow some program or some person took snippets of videos and and still photos and combined them into what they call an event gave them a title and a date and put them in my phone five of them yesterday on 4-4 and it's creepy and they, it even has background music and I want you to understand that I went to seven states and it's only showing Oklahoma North Carolina and Denver it's not showing any Oregon pictures or Arizona pictures and Phoenix that happened much uh, more recent than these. Um, it's not showing any Texas photos. And I think that this is a, or any California ones, I think this is a warning. I really do. So here's what it looks like in my phone events. Now I'm going to show you the little mini videos that were created out of, understand, out of, I'll start with event one. They're all about 37 to 37 to uh, 40 seconds long with background music. I, I didn't do this. I didn't choose the background music. I didn't choose the title. So e let me go. Event one. They have they whoever they is. Ha they have titled Sunday Night at Denver Improv, and we're nowhere near the Improv. Just so you know, we're on the corner of Martin Luther King. But here's what's creepy, and the date is October 11th. We happened, a guy came over and kind of challenged us and, and almost wanted to hit me in the face for holding the Jesus sign. And I was looking at his pants, and, and I kind of said something like, what's with the pants? And he said he just got off work of the improv. So how, how could the phone or whoever created this event know that that guy was there and that he worked at the improv and then title the event Sunday night at Denver improv I don't even know where the improv was and I didn't go to it so so let's go and then I'm gonna show you things that happened on these dates that they're giving so let's just go with the first one 
This is how, how they created it. I didn't create this, they did. I'll po point out a few things. See the Jesus Matter shirts? This is Martin Luther King Boulevard here in Denver, Colorado. James and I holding up uh, signs telling people to repent, turn to Jesus. Then it randomly throws in the hotel phone number, and that's Denver, the church we attended. And then it randomly throws in this napkin and a box of pumpkins, and then it says Sunday night at Denver Improv. That's one. Let's go to event number two. This is a... Uh, this is when we were in uh, Oklahoma, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. This is uh, the Oklahoma Muir Building uh, Memorial. It's little snippets that they just throw together. And, and here's the thing is, who's they? Three sevens, 37 miles per hour. Now I want to show you something. I'm going to pause right here. This, this is people I met. I recognize them. I don't have to name them, but 45 of us marched around the Capitol seven, uh, seven times because they were going to remove the Ten Commandments, and they ended up they ended up uh, moving the Ten Commandments. I want to show you something right here. Let's pause at the 18 second mark of this. This is the actual wall beside the where the, the Oklahoma City bombing uh, killed many, many people. A lot of people think a lot of these events were false flags. Look at the date. For some reason, I paused. This was the original Team 5 responding team actually wrote this on the wall. And this is the original, and it's been protected. It's April 19th, 1995. For some reason, I was led to take a picture of it. Read what it says. On April 19th, it's the exact same dates that they're uh, they're they're reporting that they're going to erect those temples to Baal, the false god in New York, in London, the same exact date. Tell me how this is coincidence, and it's also the date of the New York primaries for the Republican Party in New York. Same exact date, and there it is, just randomly showing up as an event in my cell phone. This is part of the memorial still. 9-1, those are seats where children were killed. That's a picture of uh, Oklahoma. And then it labels this one, Saturday night at Oklahoma City National Memorial. Let's go to the next one. This one starts off with the tracks. This is the strangest thing. This event, and keep in mind, I, these events just randomly just showed up in my phone mysteriously yesterday on 4-4. It starts off with a half picture of This Was Your Life. Someone says that they can do a backdoor and use this app to choose your best photos without your permission. What is this? Would this be considered a best photo to you? It says This Was Your Life. The, to me, these are warnings because I, that's not a picture I would choose. This was your life, Bible track. I had hundreds of them. And then this is uh, all this Masonic stuff. And then I thought about this. Why did they include a picture of my hotel room? I, I sent this to my wife via text. It's a handicap thing. Handicap. It, to me, it's like a threat. I'm sorry. Why throw that in there? I don't know. That's downtown uh, sunsetting in Denver. That's the capital in Denver. This is Fort Collins. We took a picture of the number 377. We didn't think it was random. That's Fort Collins. This is a picture of a battleship. And uh, th that was a picture of a battleship at the Denver capital. And what happened is we ran into four Satanists who... So I asked them if they wanted this Jesus Matters jump drive we had on that had worship music and prayers and stuff. And they said it has, if it has anything to do with Jesus, they don't want it. And then they began to try to like satanically curse me and stuff. And I stood against them in prayer. And uh, it was so disturbing that I actually, Brother James will remember, I actually almost, uh, I felt like I was being pushed and almost fell on my face. But the Lord held me up. 
and uh, my glasses fell off my head and everything so we pulled over to the side of the road here and uh, we were we were praying right here and get, get you know deciding where to go next after being attacked by Satanists there's a picture of what do you call that thing in the middle there so then I had so these are the these are the Masonic uh, Satanic uh, images on the pillars all around the Denver Capitol and I had these uh, tracks what I'm called was called the nervous witch and so I I put one of the nervous witch tracks up on there up against that and I took a picture and I remember exactly what I said I said that witch should be nervous and that somehow okay now this right here the reason why I'm filming this no one would listen to the gospel of Jesus Christ being spread in Fort Collins so James and I would decide let's shake off our feet and leave Fort Collins and so now we're heading back to Denver when all of a sudden we see like I want to say like an ambulance and then two fire trucks and there was firemen walking in the middle of this road but there was no wreck they were running a false flag drill on this highway in Denver I don't remember which highway it was it was so weird we must have went a half a mile and we must have saw 12 fire trucks people walking people pretending to be injured yet no real wreck anywhere so we're leaving far it was a false flag here and I just started filming this is the bench in Fort Collins that we sat on and then it goes back to the the capital in Denver and ends with that and then they call this Saturday night at Molly Brown's house I don't know any Molly Brown some friends of mine have told me that Molly Brown was a famous historian woman who uh, who sunk in the Titanic I have no idea about how they even came up with this title I didn't go to Molly Brown's house I don't know a Molly Brown let's go to the, the next one is Denver murals there's the Jesus Matters jump drives I was telling you about now let me just stop right here you know, here's 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 some pictures. I, I was showing somebody. Uh, I like Smith and Wesson Military and Police. I I, I did uh, personal protection for a living for 22 years, and someone wanted to you know uh, see my collection. We're going to go to a range, and so I pulled it out. This was a private picture that I texted to a friend. How does this end up? How is this random? To uh, to to end up? How is this random? For this, these are all legal firearms I own legally. How does this, how does this, and look at the last two numbers of the image is 7-3. How does this end up in this uh, thing? To me, it's just another threat. So this is a 40 caliber, 9mm and AR-15. I just find this whole thing on. My wife and I in our backyard. This is a, you know what that was? This has nothing to do with none of the trips. It won't even let me pause now just let it run that was a yoke and then Lucifer and then Lucifer remember I had a dream of a blue Mustang in the garage and we were in, in tribulation and people were accepting the mark of the beast and they wanted to tattoo it on it and then this just shows up and then brother James here it's just creepy I'm sorry it's just creepy to me that it, out of all the things it would choose to create this event is a Maserati with a what do you call this thing again this symbol right here brother James said look it's a Maserati we were at the rental car place and it had three sevens on there and so he took a picture of it a trident is that what you call that a trident it, it, it's this is creepy and then they title this one Friday night at children of the world dream of peace the only thing I can think of is that uh, that was the name of one of those murals where how they got these titles and background music and all that stuff I have no idea here's the next one starts off at 337 and then it goes to I think that's Psalm 91 another 73 Spring Avenue Pray for North Carolina, Charlotte, North Carolina, and Fort Bragg. This is a that was a funeral place near a, a, a cemetery for veterans. This is a prophecy of Zephaniah 2. This is all in North Carolina on one of the Jesus Matters trips. First in flight, a license plate. I took I took hundreds of pictures. 
That's the memorial with my Jesus Matter shirts on. That's Zephaniah 2. I want everybody to read Zephaniah 2. And really, uh, woe to the inhabitants of the seacoast, it says in verse 5. People better wake up, man. And then Saturday afternoon at Top Cell Beach on October 31st, it says, so anybody else have your this happen to your phone again? So now let me let me quickly go. I was sitting here in prayer today, and the Lord said, look at the dates they, they, they gave these events. So the first event was uh, October 11th. I want to show you, look at this. The second thing that pops up, Teddy Roosevelt, I just had a dream. Go just go back three videos. You'll find that I'm warning of a dream where I'm in a bunker in, uh, in New York and riots have broken out and Teddy Roosevelt jumps into my bunker. And then, then this happens afterward. And then, you know, I've had warning dreams of, uh, I'll put links to these, these dates. There's five dates. I'll put a link. Uh, Teddy Roosevelt became the first U.S. president to fly aboard an airplane with uh, the, uh, one of the aviators for the Wright brothers. And I, I, there's so much more to these things, you know. The 1973 Arab-Israel War, the Six-Day War. You know, see, the reason why it's showing, and, and look at this, it talks about the Apollo 7, a three-man, you, you're going to see the number three and seven throughout this. Apollo 7, three-man mission, probably faked. Just just go start looking at the dates. They're, they're trying to, they're, I'm telling you, there's a, the eighth murder by the Washington Bellway sniper, and I believe he used the AR-15. Look at this, a small plane crashes into a, a high rise in New York with a New York, a New York in Manhattan. It, oh, with the New York Yankees pitcher on it was killed. It, it, if uh, People are only gonna understand this if they've followed my channel to understand the significance of all of these dates. This, the second date is uh, October 31st, look at this, uh, Gandhi uh, was gunned down, gold standard, Mount Rushmore, someone had just told me, you know your dream about Teddy Roosevelt, the first thing I thought about was uh, Mount, Mount Rushmore, and there it is, Mount Rushmore, you think this is all just random Canterbury bombings, bombings in uh, England, I'm, I'm not going to show you all these for time's sake, sake but I'm going to show you this uh, Indiana State Fair collision, Colise Coliseum explosion. You're gonna see a theme here of explosions and war. Uh, here's another bombing in England. There, here's a, a plane crash in 1999. Egypt Air leaving John F. Kennedy Airport from New York to Cairo crashes in Massachusetts killing all 217 aboard and on and on it goes. The next date they gave and put in my phone is uh, August 29th and the very first thing I noticed was Hurricane Katrina. I mean do you think that this is all just could be ran random? I'll put links so people can research this. The next date is October 8th. You're gonna see it's all earthquakes. Pakistan earthquake 7.6 and then look at this, a 5.2 on the Richter scale hits New York. You see in a pattern here, New York, Great Chicago Fire. You see in the pattern here, I'm, uh, this is an urgent warning. The final date that they put into my phone and I say they, I didn't do it, is October 10th. And I'll just put some links to this so you can, uh, you can do some homework on here. This is, uh, this is one that caught my eye. The United Kingdom, world's first nuclear accident ever. And one of these, Einstein had written Franklin Delano Roosevelt to tell him uh, another earthquake uh, about atomic bombs. Just check all of these links. Here's another 7.5 earthquake. And then to top it all off, and I know this has probably been a long video. It looks like it's been about 20 minutes. When I, when I woke up this morning, the very first thing that occurred was in my head. It started saying, I feel the earth move under my feet. started playing in my head. 
And the Lord told me, you know, there's going to be an earthquake. So just keep an eye on that and be in prayer. Take a look at all these dates. Watch these videos back again in slow motion. I'm telling you, these are warnings. These are clues. They're planning something in the month of April up to May 1st. It's occultic. They've always done this, and they've embedded it in my phone somehow because I think they knew that I would make this video, whoever they are.